Today we're going to talk about poison ivy. Here on the farm we don't have it just by the pound, we have it by the ton. So every time I cut wood, run the weed eater, go out in the timber, mess with the animals, I'm exposed to poison ivy. Uh, I managed to stay poison ivy free for about 10 years. Last week I got in a big hurry, I did something stupid, I broke my protocol, and now I have poison ivy down both arms. It's just about healed up, but I'm going to try to give you some points uh, maybe you won't get it or keep you from getting it very bad. First you have to understand what's going on. Poison ivy is an allergic reaction to the oil or the sap in the poison ivy. And that sap takes anywhere from two to eight hours on your skin to absorb into your skin and give you the allergic reaction. So you have a little bit of time to get it off. I've been pretty fortunate with four hours is my rule of thumb. Uh, also the key thing most people don't know is that sap is active for two years after that plant dies. So you spray poison ivy, it turns brown, and you think it's all dead, and you pick it up, next thing you know you have poison ivy all over you. I think the place that most people get it is getting undressed. They really don't understand what's going on. Uh, first thing I would do is go to the dollar store and get you some dishwashing gloves. They come up, they come up here, they're a dollar a piece, throw them away when you're finished. Remember that oil is still active, even though it's on your clothes. You get it on your shirt, maybe running a weed eater or a chainsaw, and you pull your shirt up like this to pull it over your head, you just smeared that oil all over your face. Now you have poison ivy on your face and your arms. The other thing, I think people get it a lot, I hear people say, well, I got it inside of my shoes, how did that happen? Well, it really didn't. You have it all over your pants from your knees down to here. Then you take your shoes and socks off, pull your pants off, you just drug the oil all over your foot. So leave your socks on until after you take your pants off, pull your pants off from the bottom, pull your shirt off from the collar up. Throw your clothes straight into the washing machine. Poison ivy oil is not water soluble. It has to have detergent to dissolve it and emulsify it. Don't sit on anything, don't touch anything that you don't have to. Clothes in the washing machines. So jump straight into the shower. Dawn is your friend. I keep this bottle in the shower all the time. Lather up your hands and your arms and rub it vigorously. Rinse it off. Be sure to use room temperature or cool water because if you use hot water, it's going to open your pores and it's going to suck that uh, poison ivy oil right in there. So after you do your arms and your hands, do your face, and then I rinse off really good. Then I start at the feet and I go all the way up a second time. So Cassie came to join me, which reminded me of a very important point. Humans are about the only animals that get poison ivy, so when your dog is with you and they run around in the poison ivy up in the timber, and then look what they do, they jump on your lap, and now I have poison ivy all over me. So you may need to give your dog a bath too.